Let's talk about the history recall brush. In order to do that, I'm gonna hit the comma key. And you're gonna see I have a project here uh, with a demo anime head. Here's something we should probably talk about. You can also go in here and you can also go load tools from projects. And if you navigate to program files, pixel logic, ZBrush 2020, Z projects, you can grab that demo anime head and load it as a project as opposed to inheriting all of the settings that that project file has. So just an alternative. Uh, drag that out on your canvas, go into edit mode and we have a head, and since we're gonna be talking about the history recall brush, uh, this history bar up here is pretty important. So if you go in here to preferences, undo history, you're gonna see there's an undo selector, make sure that's showing. And let's start making some changes to this space. I'm gonna go into the Damien standard brush, so B, D, S, and we can go ahead and start kind of cutting in a little bit here, maybe change to the move brush. And I'm using hotkeys for that. You can store a hotkey on any brush by holding down control alt uh, or go to my YouTube channel and look at the uh, just search for basics so through here again holding you know, using that Damien standard brush and then maybe switching over to the clay brush and the standard brush we can start detailing this head out a little bit So you got kind of a head sculpt going on here, and let's go ahead and make some fairly drastic changes. Uh, let's go in here and we'll just age it up considerably. So again, uh, go in with our Damien standard brush, and we'll go through, and we'll start adding some wrinkles. And let's say you're looking at this and you're like, ah, you know what? I don't mind the wrinkles in the forehead and the uh, mouth here, uh, but around the eyes, I really, I really want to kind of start over a little bit. So instead of going through here and like just randomly smoothing out this or going back through your undo history, you can just click and drag. And if I go all the way back to where my eyes are done, I've lost all the wrinkle detail I've done in my other areas. So in this case, I just want to get rid of this wrinkle detail and leave my other wrinkle detail. So what I can do is I can go back through my history to where again all of my eye wrinkles are gone I can control tap in there you're gonna see it's gonna turn white and then if I click and drag all the way up through my undo history here now I'm back where I started but I have a little light gray undo marker in there so what I can do now is I can go to BHR that's my history recall brush and it's going to look at the object or the volume stored in memory and it's going to allow you to project that back so if I go through here oh first of all you need to turn off X symmetry and I'll show you why in a bit. Uh, but now you can go through here and you can just go through and scrub out this information. Now because we're working on kind of a Dynamesh uh, object here, I can do a geometry, modified topology. Uh, if I do a mirror and weld now, it's gonna mirror from the negative X to the positive X side. So first I need to go here to deformation, mirror across the X, and then mirror and weld across the X. If that seems like a bit much for you to have, to have to dig through these windows. That's why I do my own custom menu here. So if you look at my YouTube channel, ZBrush for Ideation playlist, it'll show you how to do a custom menu. So you can do uh, mirror and mirror and weld right next to each other. And there we go. So now we have history recall going back from a previous version of our history and just projecting that back.